Hello, today I will be talking about Chapter 5, Learning. Learning is any relatively permanent change in behavior brought about by experience and or practice. Learning is something that we do every single day. Some of us think that learning is over when we're done with college, but we actually do trainings and multiple things that involve learning at work. For a better understanding of how we learn, some examples are learning in school, sports, home life, from our peers, and walking out or talking. We learn a lot from school, such as classes, professors, our teachers, and we also learn from playing sports as we learn how to play the sport, or we also learn lifelong skills, and we also learn how to play instruments such as guitar, piano, the flute, many other things. And when we were younger, we learned how to walk, talk, and eat from our parents. The three concepts I will be talking about today are drug dependency, punishment, and stimulus control. Each of these concepts has something to do with learning, whether we know it or not. And if we look above at these graphics, we can see a little hint of what we'll be talking about today as the drug dependency graphic is someone smoking a cigarette, punishment is someone getting um, jailed or getting put in jail, and the last one is two people opening a door. And later in the video, we'll get into a little bit more detail of what each of these things mean. So first, let's start off with drug dependency. Drug dependency is a classical conditioning applied to human behavior. And it's also important to note that the drug dependency also is affected by the people that are around you and without the drugs, everything will become a conditioned stimulus that relates to that drug addiction or the addiction in question. The drugs in question could be stimuli such as a depressant, an upper, a downer, which is a depressant, or actually a opioid. And a lot of these drugs that fall under this type of um, stimuli are nicotine, weed, coffee, or any drug-like objects such as caffeine, which is actually coffee. So because we're on the topic of drug dependency, I would like to note the difference between addiction and dependence. Addiction is pleasurable to the person, and the person who is addicted to the drug or whatever they're addicted to cannot stop using it or doing it. Whereas dependence is conditioned so that the drug and or object are associated with the high and produce that same high that the object gives off. And in this real life scenario, I would like to shed light on the addiction to coffee. And my little cousin will be doing an example of some symptoms one might get when they are off or withdrawing from coffee. And for another example, I asked my Instagram followers and friends how they felt without caffeine. So I did a research type of survey and I asked a question, how do you feel when you don't drink a coffee or a green tea? And I gave them the two options of I have no energy and I have a headache because those are some symptoms of coffee withdrawal or coffee dependence. And it was really interesting to see how many people are so dependent on coffee and their um, the symptoms they get after or when they don't drink it because when I don't drink coffee, I know I get a big headache. And I've actually, after learning about the really bad things that coffee does to you, I've stopped drinking coffee. And I didn't want to leave this out of this presentation because I thought this video was really cool. You guys should all really go watch the World Without Coffee video on YouTube. It's really interesting to see how dependent we are on coffee or people are on coffee. It's crazy that something that we think that is a mood booster or helps us get energy is really effective on our lives. So the next concept I will be talking about is punishment. And punishment, by definition, is any event or object that, when following a response, makes that response less likely to happen again. And we see punishment being used a lot in um, parenting, such as spanking a child is considered punishment. 
and can re actually result into resentment towards the parent and bullying or violence towards the child's peers. And we also have um, two types of punishment, punishment by removal and punishment by application. And the difference between these two are removal is a punishment of a response by addition or experiencing an unpleasant stimulus and punishment by application is the punishment of a response by the removal of a pleasurable stimulus. And in these two graphics, we actually see pu positive punishment and negative punishment. So positive would be something that is unpleasant for the child, and negative would be removing something desirable from the child. So here we see one of the Simpson characters being taken away, their skateboard. And reinforcement is actually very different from punishment as well. So behavior will increase with reinforcement or behavior, negative reinforcement, a stimulus is removed, the behavior will increase. And for punishment, the behavior is decreasing every single time. In this real life scenario or situation, I will be asking my cousin to put away the dishes and if failure to put away the dishes would be a negative punishment and she will be getting her phone and the right to go to a party taken away from her. Sophie! Yes? Come here. What? If you want to go to your friend's birthday party, you need to put all the, way, all the dishes away, okay? girl did not put away the dishes. Interesting. So, oh my goodness, she's what? sleeping. What? What? Ah! I think she's home. Sophie. So from this example, we learned that a negative punishment is removing something desirable. So the last concept I'm going to be talking about is a descriptive stimulus called stimulus control. And this is a stop sign or a doorknob that will provide us humans with a cue for making a certain response. So in this video, I will be opening the door for my brother and I know that I have to open the door because I see a doorknob and I also hear the doorbell ring. And you're going to see me open the door after I hear the, the ring go off. And then I will go up to the door, unlock it, and open it. And for this example, as the driver approaches the light, they notice that it's red. And we've learned that not only in driving school, but in life that red means stop and green means go. And when we get closer to the light, the driver notices that the light turns green, which means go. The driver then proceeds to making the left turn. In this graphic, we also see the stimulus control being explained a little bit more deeper. And we basically do the behavior if asked and don't do it if not asked. The last example is a stop sign and we know because we are being asked to, be, to stop, we stop as our stimulus control. <laughs> So 
that is the end of my video and just to reiterate what we went over um, we went over the three concepts of drug dependency punishment and stimulus control which are all included in chapter 5 learning